Thursday, look at Thursday. Ain't even Thursday, I'm rocking her mix. Alright guys, <clears throat> day two, day two, breaking down this uh, Ford Explorer, man, I'm already working on getting rid of the thermostat right now, replacing that, getting off these two covers today, uh, hopefully going to buy some paint, painting them and putting them back on with the new valve covers, that's today's job, right, and in that process, if I'm able to take out this line correctly, I would also be able to take this out and um, clean this up also. So that's the job right now. Right now, working on this, and um, you know, as you can see, water's already coming out. Thermostat's right behind this. Gonna clean this housing up. And, um, you know, it's hard to do it with one hand. I'm, I'm just doing it for the video purpose. Other than that, you're gonna see me get it right. And then I ripped up my hands, guys. See, it's swollen right there, the middle finger. Um, I had a job yesterday and I really hurt myself. So both of my hands are messed up. So I'm gonna take it easy, but ah, part of the job. All right, look. So I want to show you. This is why it's desperately needed to do this. Look at this sucker tail. Look at this. Oh my God, guys. Now, good thing the thermostat is not. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's stuck because I didn't have any overheating problems. But wow. This is why it's unnecessary to replace things like this. Wow. Oh my God. Let's see how to take this out now, cause it's not, it's supposed to come right out. It is, I just gotta wiggle it a little bit, but let me take the whole housing off. But damn, man. Gee, that's the first find, so you know the whole engine is burnt on the inside. That's what you get from the thermostat. Whew. But what can you expect? This car almost has 300,000 miles. Um, we're going to try to bring it back. Well, it was living, but we're going to try to make it better than what it was. And um, let it run for a little while longer, you know? That's pretty much what we're doing. That's why I'm fixing it. Yeah. So we got to the rail, man. I removed the rail. Um, I was going to try to take it out completely, but this is very rusty. This is a 22-year-old car. 21-year-old car. Um, but yeah, man these look at these some of these are missing valves i mean little um little rubbers right i forgot what you call them washers or whatever actually all of them are missing so i'm pretty sure they're in the rail um some of them got stuck to the bottom and vice versa so you could see there's a lot of issues here um we're gonna see that's where the last plug was in all this sludge we're gonna take this whole um top of the intake out and i'm gonna clean this for sure also with the valves and removing all these stuff so the valves are next and then taking off this but this is crazy guys i ain't gonna lie to you i didn't expect it to be this bad let you just spin it out i don't know just put them pop out and pop in you know it's not see look at this this is crazy. I'm using a lot of force and still not coming out. So that one's probably seized or something like that. It's crazy. Some of them, some, no, one of them came out and these the rest of these are not. So uh, you see the problems guys, but we're gonna take all these out. Definitely gonna replace each one of these. So. The side is off, all the valves is off. Um, now everything's unplugged. All right, move this over. Now our goal is to, to remove this middle casing here along with this. Stay together. And uh, we're 
these uh, injectors. Not to it, guys. There's a lot of crud and shitty shit here, man. This is nasty as hell, but we got, look, look, look. Oh my god, y'all saw that firsthand. This is just the, the old gaskets that I have to suck out with a vacuum and clean all this out, guys. This is so disgusting. Oh. Oh, some stuff burnt, okay. Let's see, this whole side over here. There's a screw that got that got bent out, so I gotta have to screw that out in a second. Clean all these up, man. All this, wow. Um, yeah, man. Clean all this up. Spray all this out. We're gonna plug all these up. And um, yeah, get this engine done, man. Wow. I think this is done. We're done for day one, man. I did a, a lot of stuff that I needed to do. I'm still gonna pop out these uh, injectors in the bottom. Oh man, call it a day. Jesus Christ. See, I finally get to see. Oh, I do have some black stuff in my face. Whatever. So all good, man. We're here with the Ford. I think that's enough for today, man. It's a lot of parts on the floor. A lot of stuff I gotta buy. A lot of cleaning I gotta clean, but you know. Stay tuned to the next one.